Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another edition of DNN. And it looks like we have the Winter Festival upon us starting tomorrow at 9 p.m. We got several campaigns going ongoing. We have a 40 maximum free suspected supply drop pull event going on. So basically a free 10 pull happening every week starting tomorrow leading into the tail end of December, you know, Christmas time, right? And potentially you can get up to eight mobile suits guaranteed, two stars or higher, with a <laughs> two star mobile suit or higher and three star mobile suit higher guaranteed, something of that sort. So you have a chance of getting a two star mobile suit or a three star mobile suit. And they also include four stars. So if you've been wanting to try to get your hands on some of the four-star shenanigans like the Unicorn Banshee and some of the other other ones that you've been well, unlucky to get sadly. Definitely a pretty cool thing. I would say for the most part though, this is a, definitely a great thing for newer players that don't have the catalog of mobile suits that some of us have been playing this for a long time have. This might definitely even up those odds and uh, I'm sure there will be some DP uh, rewards as well, which we'll get into shortly. But as part of another step up, it looks like the Carl Gustav. I keep on calling it by its real world like reference there, but basically the Carl Gustav is finally confirmed. It's the unicorn version. It's not a type 00 or anything of that sort. And yes, there's a typo. Trust me, I know. I've already mentioned to my uh, contact. But basically, they do have a step up. I believe this may be the next suit that's coming in. But uh, I don't know. We'll get into that shortly. They do have a specific step up for a guaranteed unobtainable bowl suit. So if you haven't been collecting certain ones, they do have several steps for two star, two star materials, two unobtained mobile suits and a three-star unobtained mobile suit. So, definitely a opportunity to round out your collection there. They do also have a different step up with uh, supply drops for five times high drop rates for materials. Might be kind of cool-ish if you're trying to get certain, uh, we'll say, mechanic tickets, because, I mean, if you have everything or have certain ones, then you're having a higher chance of getting materials to tune what you got. So that might be decent. As far as limited missions, they're adding another one for uh, this festival. We're getting the Gyakushiki Kai mass-produced mass type, and we'll get into that shortly. And then there's also a campaign for new returning pilots as well, which includes extra XP and CP gain as well as DP rewards. And they're retuning uh, a lot of the DP prices and rank limits for a lot of the mobile suits currently in the DP store. So if you've been saving up for certain suits that you know uh, some of your fans and uh, favorite YouTube people are using, and you know they're good, it's time to uh, do that. One thing I forgot to add into that <laughs> is we're getting a specific Christmas campaign. So a lot of the Christmas theme stuff is coming back. You know, the Zaku head, the ball head, and it looks like we're getting, it looks like the Santa Claus inflatable and a arm little buddy from 0080. That's going to be uh, an awesome sight. I have to reuse uh, a photo that I've used before since it's that time of the year. All right, so the Carl Gustav or the... Carl, uh, Carlos Gustavo, as I'm going to call him now, is because I'm waiting for somebody to literally come out with a meme for this suit. I mean, we already have one for the Ricardo Diaz, so it's only fair that we get the Carlos Gustavo with a sombrero and, you know, mustache. I mean, it'd be, it's all fun. Uh, but basically, it looks like it's a 650 three-star general, which looks really cool. And I'm going to insert some uh, B-roll footage here as well, which uh, will be put, put in post-edit. But yeah, three star general looks like, you know, we have a step up, which we mentioned earlier. So it's half off and then it's a two star rarity and then 
four star. Step four is going to be the uh, guaranteed uh, level one, which is only level one. The thing is, is that we don't know the full specs yet, but I would imagine it's probably going to be very tanky. I would not be surprised if it has similar uh, aspects to the Jesta, since it also too has the uh, flexible arm shield deal. It could be a 650 uh, active guard. Really hard to say. I I would assume it's probably beefy, considering that they decided to make this more powerful than the uh, Jesta. And it's actually going to be, um, you know, since it was developed alongside the same time as the Jigen. I guess it makes sense, but, you know, I guess this is them making up for lost time since uh, it had such a short, uh, was it air time? It's uh, camera time. We're getting owned by everything else under the sun. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Alright, so I mentioned the Gyaku Shikikai mass production. It's gonna be a 550 cost, level 1 and level 2. So we're not just getting a level 1 like our uh, Carlos Gustavo earlier, but we're actually getting two different versions. So this is gonna be available at 600 as well. Which is gonna be interesting, because you know somebody or a whole team of somebodies, they're gonna be just memeing with a whole front line full of uh, Gyaku Shikikais and Shikikai mass production. So, hell you're lucky we might even see it at 650 and having people run the, the support version as well just a whole team of gakushikis running around but um yeah basically it's limited mission it's also going to be a general as well which is kind of not surprising to say the least i don't think the missions are going to be very hard if they're anything like previous ones that we've had as i said before mentioned several times not in my previous videos but like throughout the course of time that i pretty sure they've learned not to do anything super crazy like what they did with reaching uh eight space because i suck at space so that was more, much more frustrating especially with um folks that don't have a lot of time playing this game that's that's the hard part it's not so much that it's hard to get to those ranks, it's just if you don't have a lot of time and you have a working job that can only allow you maybe like a couple hours of play, then yeah, the problem. But you know, what can be confirmed for the suit is you do get a bazooka with, uh, I almost said Inferno or Insurrection, I was like, no, incendiary uh, ammunition. Um, a pulse laser, which might be referring to with Vulcans, has a beam Gatling cannon on its shoulder, and the standard Gakushiki rifle. We'll see how that implements that, because I'm pretty sure they're going to have some of the same uh, skills and similar stats to the Shikikai right now, as it stands at 600, 650. But, you know, until it releases, no freaking idea. But we are also getting, for those limited missions, different uh, beam and melee parts, as well as the camo. <laughs> camo actually looks kind of cool. Like a customizable leopard print deal thing. So that might be some interesting stuff. Um, but the thing that caught my attention the most, yes, I'm an Alex simp, is the actual Alex uh, logo on there. The thing that I'm slightly disappointed, though, is one we don't have the four emblem that the alex does have on his shoulder and we still don't have the alternate amuro logo which they might hell until the uh, high new comes out which i'm pretty sure that's what they're gonna do all right so one thing i forgot that i left out while we were covering all the other things plus you know jumping down to christmas is we're getting another update for badass simulator so I'm certain they're going to throw something else at us. It might be a space one because we do have big mobile armor things to go with still, like the Neo Zeong, for example, and some other things in the UC universe that you didn't, may not think that we could do, but we're doing. So, hell, they might make them all available. That'd be kind of crazy, right? So, if you haven't done it already, I, I can highly recommend that you need to do your battle simulator stuff right now. Grab a friend, hijack them, do whatever you need to do, uh, get that stuff done before it changes over. But yeah, starting tomorrow, Winter Festival has begun. 
So until next time, guys, I will see you on the next video.